If you've got problems with crepey skin, then this video is for you. Now, we lose about 1% of the thickness of the collagen of our skin every year. Our collagen maint maintains about 70% overall of our skin, and so that 70% of your skin is reduced in thickness by 1% a year, and after menopause, some studies show that it could be upwards of 2% a year in women. So what can you do about that thin, crepey skin that you get? The skin of the neck, of the hands, of the arms? These are some natural solutions for you. The first thing that I recommend is consider a collagen supplement. Now, collagen is a protein, and it's a large protein. And there are several studies that show that taking a hydrolyzed collagen supplement can improve the collagen of your skin. The issue with collagen, and the reason why some people poo-poo it, is because it is a large protein, and that large protein can be digested when you ingest it. And so the key is to take a hydrolyzed collagen supplement. Hydrolyzed collagen supplements, that collagen is broken down into the collagen peptides, and those peptides are, are used in a hydrolyzed collagen supplement in that way because you can easily digest it. And there are studies that, that have put people on a collagen supplement every day and found after several months of taking it that the collagen in their skin is actually increased. So a lot of people then ask me, okay, Dr. Yoon, I'm vegan or I'm vegetarian and I can't take a collagen supplement, what can I do? Well, if you're vegan or vegetarian, a simple solution is to try some of these vegan collagen powders. Now, technically they don't have actual collagen in them, but what they do have usually are a uh, vegetarian or vegan based protein and that protein in and of itself may help with the collagen of your skin. May not be as good, you know, technically as if you take an actual collagen supplement, but it can definitely help. Second thing that you can do to improve the crepiness of your skin is to use a retinol or a tretinoin. Now retinoids are kind of the umbrella term for over-the-counter retinol or prescription strength tretinoin. And studies show that prescription strength tretinoin can actually thicken the collagen of your skin if you use it for long periods of time. Retinol is an over-the-counter version, and retinol basically is over-the-counter because when you apply it on the skin, it's technically inactive and it eventually turns into tretinoin and then it then affects your skin. And the benefit of a retinol is that it's more mild, you don't get a lot of the reaction that you may get from a prescription strength tretinoin or retin-A. And there are a lot of skincare companies that have their own retinol creams on the market. Once again, these are much easier to tolerate. I have my own retinol cream, we're gonna show you, it's right up here called the Yoon Beauty Retinol Moisturizer. This is one of our top sellers, and if you pick one anti-aging cream, whether you've got crepey skin or not, that's the one I would recommend. Now the other thing that you wanna do, ideally if you have a retinol moisturizer, not Retin-A, that's gonna to be too strong, but a retinol moisturizer is not only just put it on your face, but move it down to your neck. And some people will even put it occasionally on their hands. Now the neck and our hand skin is gonna be more sensitive to these treatments than the skin of your face. And so if let's say you're tolerating retinol every night on your face, you don't want to start by doing every night on your neck or your hands. Maybe start every three nights and then after two weeks of applying it that way, gradually increase the frequency of use. Um, but there's no reason why if you've got a nice mild retinol, like once again our Yoon Beauty Retinol Moisturizer, that you shouldn't use it not only on your face but on other parts of your body as well. That can definitely help with the crepey skin. It takes a while, but it can definitely help. So what else can you do? Well, if you are sensitive to retinoids, let's say you use retinol and it gets you too dry, you don't like how it feels on your skin, then you can try a Bakuchiol-based cream. Bakuchiol is a vegan or vegetarian alternative to retinol. It's plant-based and it's a great option for people who have sensitive skin, but they want to get the benefits of retinol. And there, are, there is actually a study that compared Bakuchiol and retinol and found very similar anti-aging effects of the skin in Bakuchiol than with retinol, but with less of the irritation. And, and we recently introduced our own Yoon Beauty Peptide and Bakuchiol Moisturizer. Uh, we have a link of that right up here as well. And there's links in the caption below for all these products. So using a Bakuchiol-based moisturizer, you can use it with or without retinol. Once again, that can also help 
to thicken the collagen of your skin and reduce some of that crepiness. Another thing that you can look at are hyaluronic acid-based serums or moisturizers. Now hyaluronic acid is a naturally occurring moisturizer of the skin. And there are multiple, there are a multitude of serums and moisturizers that contain hyaluronic acid. Now that is not necessarily going to reverse the crepiness of your skin. It doesn't work quite like, let's say, a collagen supplement or a retinoid. But what it can do is it can powerfully moisturize your skin so that symptomatically that crepiness is improved. It's not going to make it go away. It's not going to reverse it. But kind of like taking a grape and filling it to be, uh, a, let's say, a raisin and filling that up to become a grape, uh, that's what hyaluronic acid serums can do by kind of infusing that moisture into your skin more powerfully. Now there are also in-office treatments that can definitely help with crepey skin. And you know, I actually talked about some of these types of things on a previous video and I had a plastic surgeon try to call me out and saying, hey Dr. Yoon, you know, these types of creams are not gonna work for you. You know, they need to get something invasive done. And yes, the invasive treatments will help more than applying a cream or taking a collagen supplement, but not everybody can afford these treatments. And so that's why I give those to you. But there are treatments in the office that you can undergo like fractional laser treatments, like Morpheus A treatments, and these are all treatments that can definitely thicken the collagen of your skin. But the problem with these treatments is that they are definitely expensive and you limit the amount of areas that you can treat. So these are treated directly. So let's say if you've got creepy skin of your neck, then yes, you can get Morpheus 8, and we do that in my office all the time, but it's expensive. You know, this is on the nearly $1,000 a treatment type of a thing, and you're only treating one part of the body, you're not treating everywhere. And therein lies the benefit of some of the creams as well as the supplements, is that those can kind of help large parts of the body not just these isolated areas. But if you do have the means and you do have the access to it, then you may want to consider, let's say if you've got crepiness of the neck that really bothers you, or even of the hands or some other part of the body, considering Morpheus 8, which is radio frequency microneedling, or fractional laser treatments, those can definitely help with the collagen of the skin. If you're purely looking at the collagen of your skin of the face, there are also injections that you can consider uh, there's a new wrestling uh, uh, eye type of, uh, I think it's called eyesight type of, a, of an injection that can also help. It just got FDA approved, so I haven't used it yet. And some people also use Sculptra as a way to promote collagen synthesis as well. Uh, but these are some nice ways to basically help to improve the collagen of your skin. You know, the baseline really is you want to start with uh, a good healthy diet, eat a lot of protein. Ideally, you also want to add um, foods that are rich in beta carotene. Beta carotene actually helps with the synthesis of collagen. And so eating beta carotene rich foods in general can help to fight that crepiness that you may be struggling with. Otherwise, some of those other things that I have recommended like the collagen supplement and the retinoids can really, really help with it. Well, these are just a few of the types of, of uh, tips that I give in my new book, Younger for Life. It uh, will publish by HarperCollins January 2nd. If you pre-order it before that, then we have over $100 worth of free gifts for you. Go to autojuvenation.com or click the link in the caption below uh, to pre-order that book. I also encourage you to support your local bookstores. And I also have a video right up here where I talk about very simple holistic options for hyperpigmentation. If you've got spots that you wanna get rid of, this is how you get rid of them. And remember, eat real food, use clean skincare, and auto-juvenate before you operate.